I'm an inaccurate dinosaur. I didn't have frills or spit poison. Hello, everyone. I'm Matt the Kid Sune, and today I'm going to review the Lego Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom Dilophosaurus Outpost Attack. The one, it comes with this big gate, a Dilophosaurus, hence, hence the name, and three, three guards. So, yeah, I'm going to show you that. Let's start off with the smallest. So here is a little outpost tower thingamajigger. And it's got the roof and that tilts. And those are actually the riot shields from Star Wars, which is a nice use of parts. Uh, you got a light that goes up and down on the front. And just that. Oh, and the reason I this I'm just showing this alone, I can actually do that is because there's clips and you can rearrange the thing. So if you flip around to the back here, you've got a ladder, which I'm gonna flip up. Uh, you've got a little lab down here, or not lab, a computer. And you got a coffee cup that I just broke off because I'm smart. And you got a nice, like, that is a sticker there. It's a picture of the Dilophosaurus in the bottom left. And then what looks like a picture of Is Isla Nubular on the right. So that that's cool. And that, that can, um, like, that's... Uh, the window piece with some clips, which is cool. And you got you got this thing. I'll show you what that does later. And here's ladder. And up here, you've got this, like, radio thing that has an antenna that I knocked off. And it's like a radio signal thing so they can actually receive stuff. If someone's getting attacked by the Lophosaurus and they, they need help. And you just got little clips for some things you can hold. Like some binoculars and a clip. Just, uh, just a clip. There's nothing there right now. And there, you can also put something down there. And I guess if you wanted to, you could use this little one on the bottom to attach the gate to it. But that'd look a bit weird uh, I don't I, that might not even work I don't know but um yeah that's this thing and then you can kind of see what the what the feature is yeah, yeah well maybe not but if you push down on this knocks that off and that just leaves you with this open thing and you got some leaves and this door piece has some cool scratched up stickers on the sides so that's a little tower thing. Next up is this gate section of it. And so for the gate section, you got these lights that are like green and red. So like red is like maybe locked and green is like opened. And then you can like make both red with the extras they give you those. Uh, I like how they use these pieces that have the joint on the end where you can stick something and they use lights and you can move those around all the way not just like the other ones where you could just move them up and down they get they can move all around i like them having them like that and then here you've got the gates and these i really like the build of these and these swing open I really like the build of these. It's clever because those are actually two prison doors connected with just that jumper plate. And I, I really like that. And they just have clips on. They're just clipped on there. That one's not actually falling in. And on the back there, there's some red things, which I'll show you if you didn't already see that. There are these pins sticking out from the front. And if you push on these, you gotta push pretty hard, the gates blow off. The other one. And that works well, although I don't I don't, I don't it kinda looks weird when you uh when they're just kinda sticking out like that. Uh it looks a bit weird to me. But yeah, that's the gate section. And finally, we have the electric fence crane thing. P 
part of the, the last part of the fence. And this has, well, a crane thing. But I really, I really like the, the way they did the, uh, like, bars, which are supposed to be, like, electrified. Because they're just, like, they're these pieces, and they actually give you an extra one of those. And this is actually out of line. And now it's back in line. And I really, I really like how that looks. It looks really good. And I'm glad they gave you an extra because um, I got two extras. One from this set and then another from the T-Rex transport set. And so maybe I, maybe I can make my own thing. And that's, I, I just, I like that. And you got these blue uh, slopes on the front. And for some reason, they're not on the back here, but there is one in the middle there. Uh, that is covering up, like, the connected points where like you can see they wanted to keep them in place with that clip there and then you have the uh crane thing and this is like the ratcheted joint thing all the move and here you've got the chair and the council it's white council piece and then you can move these things on the side if you want. And, well, you can obviously put a minifigure in the chair. So you can do that. And then they give you this little crate, which you put Baby Blue in. And this is specially made to be picked up by this. Because it just, like, do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. And, yeah. That's, uh, I like that, and you can lift it up enough to get it over the fence, and then drop it down, or maybe the other way around. I, I, I don't know. Oh, and rest in peace, baby blue. Here is the Dilophosaurus itself, and this is such a better color scheme than the one we got in 2015, where it was just, like, entirely lime green with a few dark green accents, but this just looks so much better with the olive green and then the tan, dark, dark tan, I think that is. I don't know. And then they, the frill, the colors on the frills are actually the same, I think. Yep, they are. I just, like, looked that. Oh, no, wait. Oh, wait. There. There we go. Frills are the same color. And there's a side-by-side -side comparison of the one from 2015 with the new one. And the frills are inaccurate. Because it, di it didn't really have those in real life. It didn't spit poison either. But in the movie, it, it does. And they're, like, they're trying to be accurate to the movie. So I guess it's the movie that's inaccurate and not Lego. And so, the legs move forward and back. The arms move forward and back. You can have them hold on to something in the arm. Uh, the head turns. You can do a full 360. And the jaw... Ah, uh, jaw moves. Hold on. Jaw moves. Blep. And that there's like a two snap positions. There's this one, this one, but you can you can get it to go in between like that. And oh, these things on the top of its head, those are accurate, and that's why it's called the Dilophosaurus, because I'm I th I'm pretty sure Dilophosaurus means double crested lizard or something, and these are the crests. So so just imagine, imagine doesn't have. Have have the frills. There there's the Dilophosaurus's head, but it's accurate. So so yeah. That's the Dilophosaurus. And the tail doesn't move at all. I kinda I kinda wish the tail did something. But still cool. Very cool. Dilophosaurus. Here's Baby Blue, which I now actually have three of, because I bought one early online. Second one in this set, and a third one in the T-Rex transport. But still, baby blue. And she's got the stripes on the sides, and my dogs are barking. 
but she's got stripes on both sides, which I I I I don't exact uh, like. I don't know that that kind of looks funny from the top. I'm I'm now I'm just now realizing that. I don't know, but that 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 this is. It, it looks like it's supposed to be baby blue, but I don't know. Maybe it's just a baby dinosaur with some odd markings and got yellow eyes. And this is this is very 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 tiny. It's my hands, and it fits on just one stud. And it's plastic, not rubber. Here is a guard. I'm pretty sure, like, this is this one's a guard. There are two guards, then one tracker, I think. This is a guard. She's got, uh, the, the tranquilizer gun with the green dart, like they had in 2015. She's got just a regular torso and legs. Uh, those are, like, the normal torso and legs for almost all the figures. And if I take off her hair you can see an alternate face and a better look at the back of the torso so she's got the angry face and the nice face and uh, yeah here is the other hunter or not not hunter why 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 did i call him a hunter uh did i call her a hunter too they're both guards the girl and this dude are guards i'm pretty sure and so he's he I like I really like the mohawk piece. They actually give you an extra extra mohawk, which is cool. And he's got a zappy stick, which I that's what I like to call it. it they're the electrocuted like the sticks they use to like deliver shocks to the dinosaurs so that they calm down. And he's got the same torso and legs as the girl because that's just the regular for these troop people. And here is Captain America. I, I I mean I mean the tracker. There he is. Captain America is not included in this set. Uh here's a tracker. He's got these goggles and just that very generic face. And he's got a walkie talkie and the same torso and leg print as all the other people. That is the Dilophosaurus Outpost Attack. And that goes for $40, although it, it should go for 30 Uh, But, you know, they gotta make the big dinosaur molds. So, the, you can forgive them for the price. Puppers are barking. The price to part ratio. Uh, and it does it does it also comes with this little crate with an egg and you can rearrange the things sorta by rearrange i mean you can take the thing and flip it around put the gate here you can't put the crane here because that's a clip and that's a clip and that's a clip and that's a clip and this is this has two uh not not clips things that clips clip onto bars and then these have two clips each so you can really just flip it around but if you do want to buy two of these then you can connect it and make it even bigger which would actually be pretty cool i if i were to get another one i would probably put a second tower here and then have it mirrored if you bought like what if you bought like six of them and then made it like a full pen. That would be really, really cool. Although that would cost quite a lot. You could probably just... Uh, you, you could get a lot like better stuff for that. Plus, that, that would be a very, very large dino pen. So, uh, yeah. Blobosaurus Outpost Attack. And bye.